A hyperbola is a set of all points on a plane where the absolute value of the difference of the distances between two fixed points, called the foci, is constant. Here we have an example of a hyperbola. It has foci at points 0, 3 and 0, negative 3. If we are to examine how far this top point is from either curve of the parabola, of, er, of either parabola on the hyperbola, it is one unit away from the top parabola and five units away from the bottom parabola. So the absolute value of five minus one or one minus five is equal to four. So if we select any point on the curve, for example here we've select, selected the green point four, four, the di its distance from point 1 minus its distance from point 2, if we take the absolute value, it will be equal to 4 for this specific hyperbola. This hyperbola has two vertices, one at the point 0, 2, and one at the point 0, negative 2. This hyperbola also has a center at the point 0, 0. This hyperbola also has a traverse axis and a conjugate axis. The traverse axis runs vertically, while the conjugate axis runs horizontally. This hyperbola also has two diagonal asymptotes. The parabolas never go past those points. They always run alongside them without actually touching them. Here we have the standard equations of a hyperbola. If the traverse axis runs horizontal, then the equation is x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared is equal to 1. If the traverse axis is vertical, then the equation is y squared divided by a squared minus x squared divided by b squared is equal to 1. The length of the traverse axis is equal to 2a, while the length of the conjugate axis is equal to 2b. There's also another variable, c. c is the length of the foci to the center. Each of our foci are three, o three units away from the center. Here, our traverse axis is equal to 4. So our a is equal to 2, because the traverse axis is equal to 2 times a. To find the equation of our parabola, which has a horizontal traverse axis, I'm sorry, which has a vertical traverse axis, then we need both a and b. We already have a. a is 2, so we take a squared to get 4, but we don't have b. Now for this situation, we can actually use the, the Pythagorean theorem to find b squared. We already know that c squared is equal to 9 and that a squared is equal to 4, so we can solve for b squared. In this case, b squared is equal to 5. So now we plug that into our equation. In its standard form, the equation for a hyperbola with a traverse axis includes the center point. So we actually have here x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared divided by b squared equals a for the horizontal traverse axis. And for the vertical traverse axis, we have y minus k squared divided by a squared minus x minus h squared divided by b squared is equal to 1. Here, for our, hyperbola, for our hyperbola with a vertical axis and a center at 0, 0, we derive the equation y minus 0 squared over 4 minus x minus 0 squared over 5 is equal to 1. And now we have the equation of our hyperbola in standard form.